Hiya. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Lavish V here. And a very big thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. You are awesome. You know yourself. And for those of you who are new here, welcome to my channel. On this channel, I do beauty, hair, and a lot of perfume. Some vlogs about everyday life. And yes, just about everything I love and what I enjoy doing, I come here and I share it with you just to give you some insight in something you may want to do. And yes, without further ado, please hit the subscription button, give me a big thumbs up and please leave a comment in the comment section because I enjoy interacting with you guys. And yes, thank you very much. Today, yes, I've got for you another perfume video this is not um, my usual perfume video why because i've got a brand new fragrance house for you i've never had um an arabian fragrance before so this is new to you and new for me so yes i'm gonna be doing my first arabian fragrance and i'm so excited because i never knew the world of arabian fragrance and yes let me go straight in with the one i've got here for you and it is called um swiss arabian oud yes swiss arabian oud and i think it's um shag Huff. The house of Shaghoff. Um, yes, I will put everything in the description box for you. And yes, let's go right in with the notes that are in this fragrance. So Swiss Arabian and the top notes for this one. Well, they didn't really give top, bottom or base note. So I'm just going to tell you what's in it and then go in and tell you about the fragrance and what I found the fragrance to be. So yes, in this one, Swiss Arabian Oud, it's got um, Parlin, Vanilla, Oud, Rose and Saffron. And I think it's got some incense as well now this fragrance mm -hmm. when i first got it and so i've tested it out for some days already and to come back with my review so when i first got it i thought um yes the bottle is not the box is nice enough it looks good mm, i can't wait to smell what was inside and when i opened it it was as i viewed it before and um it was a complete blind buy as well because i've i've never smelt it before receiving it so yes um it is this little beauty right here and it's in 24 karat gold the the bottle it's very heavy um in weight yes it's 75 ml yep and um the cap is like this and it's got some xx going on right around the perimeter of the the cap and would i say this is not a square it's kind of it is square actually because it's got equal sides but the bottle on the other end it's um rectangle as you can see it carries a lot of weight like i've said um so it's very solid and feel like good quality to be fair i'm not sure if it's i think it's glass then they've put the the gold color over it but the cover it's plastic but it's heavy plastic and um yes so going in i'm gonna give it a spray and i'll tell you what this fragrance is like and hmm, hmm, hmm. 
that went right on my face the things I do for you guys. So this fragrance, um, let me cover it again. On initial, once you open the cap, you don't need to spray it. It was smelling so strong. Um, and then um, it's the longevity of it is awesome. I sprayed it like um, 12 midday and even 7 o'clock it was still on my arm. I sprayed it in my um crease like my elbow in inside um yeah and i was wearing a long sleeve but I, I let it dry on my skin first and it was smelling through my top um that was the first time when i wore it and then i've sprayed it again and put it on my pulse point and my days this time i wore it overnight it you don't need to even spray a lot of it because it is so strong so you just need to spray a tiny bit on your wrist and rub it together and put it here and and put it there because too much of it can make you feel a bit nauseous because it is so strong it's sweet and it's smoky it smell woody and it's it's very aromatic as well and it's not soft at all it's a very strong fragrance and maybe an acquired taste but it's very nice i was pleasantly surprised and yes it's a winner when when my husband smelled it on me he's like hmm he likes it so i'm sure he's gonna wear it as well because <laughs> he he really 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 did like it so it it is a winner for me i can use a tad you can't go spraying this perfume like you are crazy because <laughs> he'll probably pass out <laughs> it's that strong but it's a nice unusual smell. It does own it its own personality. So that's why I'm saying it's an acquired taste. You have to smell it and get used to it. But some people like um smoky woody fragrance because um that's just their thing. And it also, it smells um, earthy in a weird way. It's like, there is, um, it's, um, what would I say now? I'm not, I'm not used to oud fragrances. I'm just getting into it. But for people who know about it, I'm sure it would just be right up their street. Because, like I said, it's not disgusting. It smells nice. It's spicy. It's woody. It's sweet as well. It's really strong. So, yeah. Um, you can't use it with a heavy hand. You just have to use it sparingly, like like seriously no joke but yeah i would purchase this one again so it's swiss arabian and i give it a um, nine out of ten and yes i would purchase another one if it finishes so yes it's a winner and a good blind buy thank you so much for watching and i hope my review has been useful to you as per usual and please leave a comment in the comment section and yes it's been fun talking to you today bless you all bye